Hey guys, what's up? This is my third week, day two, of the Shred Diet. And I showed you a sample menu before, but I don't feel like I did a very good job at um, laying everything out for you guys about what I eat into like a specific day. Um, granted, you have to take this with a grain of salt because this is not um, what the diet is like every day or every week. Like I said, it's constantly changing, it's always different, and the third week is the hardest of the diet. So I'm going to show you a, the sample menu that I put together for um, week three. And then I've got some of my meals laid out for today of what I'm eating from breakfast to dinner, just so that you guys can see what it is I'm eating in a day. Um, and again, this is the third week, it's the hardest week, and um, I'm not having as much of the um, grains and dairy products as what I was in week one and week two. So let me switch this over so you guys can see. This is my guidelines for week three. Um, the only thing that's really changed is that now all of my shakes and smoothies have went from 300 calories, which is what they were in week one, and then week two they were 250 to now be in 200 calories or less and very low in sodium, no more than 480 milligrams. The other thing that's changed with um, week three is that for breakfast every morning, you're adding, um, instead of the orange juice, for the most part, every morning you have to have a cup of water with a fresh lemon squeezed into it. Um, I've read the benefits of having lemon water. You can either have it hot or cold. I see where a lot of people have it warm. I just do um, water from the fridge and squeeze a lemon in it and chug it because it's, it's very tart. Um, but it's supposed to help um, get rid of any toxins in your body and it's supposed to be really good for your skin. So I've been doing that for the last two mornings. Um, so that's the only other thing that's really changed. This is called the transformation week of the diet for a reason because you're, you're usually in about the third week of dieting you start hitting that slump where you're not losing weight anymore, which thank goodness I've not had that problem. But um, this is kind of like a kickstart for your system to kind of get it back rolling again to where you're losing weight. So this is my actual menu for this is day one. And, okay, I hope you guys can see this. Like for day one, my meal one, I had my cup of lemon water with, you can add sugar to it if you want, but I didn't. Then I had a half a cup of berries, a small bowl of oatmeal, which is about one and a half cups cooked. And what I did was when I heated my oatmeal, I just threw my berries in there with it to give it a little bit of flavor. And then I had a half a cup of orange juice. Then I had a 100 calorie snack. And then I had my protein shake with a serving of veggies and water. And then I had a 150 calorie snack. And then for my third meal, a bowl of soup and a water. My fourth meal, I had a milkshake, a bowl of soup, a piece of fruit and water. And then I had another snack at the end of the day, which was 100 calories. So that is just a sample of what my menu looks like. And like I said, I go through and I highlight exactly what I'm eating because there's a lot of choices that you can choose from, but it's easier for me to just go ahead and highlight it. That way I'm not guessing what I'm eating that day. It's already done and I know I just look at the highlighted parts and that's what I'm eating, whether I like it or not. So let me walk over here so you guys can see. I've already drank my smoothie, so I'm sorry I can't show you what it's like made, but um, I had a smoothie for breakfast with my lemon water. So you just take a glass of water and then you take a lemon. I only used half because these lemons were really big, but if they were smaller, I'd probably use a whole. And then you'd squeeze the lemon in, stir it up, and drink it with your breakfast. Um, then I had my smoothie. And my smoothie consisted of, it was half of a banana, peeled, of course, and chopped up, a quarter cup of strawberries, which is about five strawberries sliced up, 
I mean, I'm sorry, not a quarter cup, a half a cup of strawberries. And then I had a tablespoon of honey. I did one and a half tablespoons of the flax seed. And then a half a cup of the all natural plain non fat yogurt. And I put all this in the blender, mixed it up, and surprisingly, I've had this flax seed in my pantry for quite some time now. I mean, it's not expired or anything, but it I've had it for a while. And I've been really afraid to use it. I've seen I bought it because I had the intention of using it because I've heard it's so good for you. I just never really knew how to use it. And I put it in with the smoothie this morning and not that it added to the flavor or anything. I couldn't even really taste it, but my smoothie was really good. And I was reading on the cover of the flax seed, and it says it's got 2,600 milligrams of the omega-3 oils per serving. It's a good source of fiber, can't talk, um, gluten-free, no sugar, no cholesterol, no salt. So it's supposed to be really good for you. And I guess for me, I don't know how else to make it other than to put it in a smoothie, so I'll definitely be adding this to my smoothies from now on because I really enjoyed it this morning. And then, so that's my breakfast, my lemon water with my smoothie. And then I did not have, I could have had a 100 calorie snack in between my breakfast and my second meal, but I didn't. I just didn't feel like eating it. Um, so now I'm about to eat my second meal, and I'm using the... ESA Lean 15 Get Toned Protein Shake, um, the protein powder, and I'm making a protein shake. So what I did was I took about 8 ounces of water, added some ice to it, and 2 scoops of the protein powder. So I'll be drinking this, and this is chocolate flavor, obviously, with spinach. This is a serving of spinach. And... I don't know about you, but I really, really, really love spinach. And this is fresh spinach. This is not canned. My grandma grows this stuff, and it's awesome. And I added a little bit of baking into it, which probably shouldn't have, but I like it. It's just southern thing, so, and it doesn't have much. It just has, like, a few little pieces of bacon in it. So I'll be having my protein shake with my spinach. And then for my snack, about an hour later... I will have my hummus, and I really like spicy things, so <laughs> this is awesome. It's called Supremely Spicy Hummus, and I'll do about two tablespoons of this and a bowl of carrots, and this is 10 carrots. So 10 carrots with my hummus, that's my snack. Then for my third meal, my hair's in the way, my third meal, I'm using um, what I was telling you guys about, the Publix soups. This has only 85 milligrams of sodium, and I'm only using half of it because I had the other half last night. Um, and this is called split pea. If you don't like split pea, they have other flavors, but I like it. I'm not particular on my veggies. I, I will eat anything. I really like them. So believe it or not, this is a half a cup of the split pea soup, and I'll have an apple with it. That's my third meal. And then I will have a 100 calorie snack after that. And I've chosen popcorn because it's like a little treat for me at the end of the day. This is only 100 calories. And it's from Orville Redenbacher. I said that right. And then my last meal of the day, I am to have another um, fruit smoothie, which it won't be the same as what I had for breakfast, but. I haven't decided really which one I want to go with yet, so I don't have all the ingredients out, but you guys get the idea. Fruit smoothie, 200 calories or less. Um, that's what I'm having for dinner with a serving of vegetables, and I've chosen, this is asparagus that I've already cooked up, and I love asparagus. So that's my meal for the day. I've got my breakfast. I've got, you could have had a snack in between, but I didn't. I've got my second meal, I've got my third, I'm sorry, I'm messing this up, I've got my second meal, my second snack, my third meal, my third snack, and then my fourth meal with a fruit smoothie that I have yet to make. 
So that's kind of like the layout and my plan for week three of this diet. Like I said, every day is different, so I won't be eating the same foods every day, but the general idea of smoothies and shakes and soups, that's what I'm eating my third, my third um, week. So I'll see you guys again soon. Take care. And if you have any comments or you want me to do a video on something that maybe I haven't talked about with the diet or you have any questions regarding the diet that maybe I can help answer, just shoot me a comment below and show your support by liking the video. It's always helpful and it's good motivation for me to keep continuing what I'm doing. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.